Nico! In here. Oh, hi, Georges. I thought you were being attacked. When I arrived, there was someone here. He rushed me, knocked me down. Did you get a look at him? No. It happened so quick, and then he was gone. What a mess. This blood. Where's Marquez? I don't know. He must be badly hurt. Or dead. Not another killing. What do you mean? I just came from the gallery. Father Simeon's been shot. My God! Who did it? I don't know. But before he died, he begged me to stop the Gnostics from raising the devil. The devil? Whoever's doing the killing, Georges, it's certainly not him. Okay, but who? Simeon and Marquez were both attacked at the same time. Just what are we up against? I don't know. But whoever came here was looking for something. The place has been ransacked. I'm going to clean up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'll take a look around. There was still quite a blood stain. I really hoped that Marquez was all right. Nico's neighbor had quite an impressive coin collection. The chair had been knocked over in the fight, but there was something glinting underneath. It was Marquez's medallion. There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. The sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions. It was one of the photographs that Nico had taken during the robbery. It showed a section of La Maledicio. Marquez had written on it. Marquez had circled one of the figures and written, Judas. I wondered if he was identifying him as Judas Iscariot. Back in Bible class, Judas was definitely one of the bad guys. Marquez had scribbled the word Sans across the photograph. I wonder what he meant. Marquez had circled one of the figures in the tower and identified her as Magdalena. That had to mean Mary Magdalene. Hey, Jos, you find anything? Marquez's medallion. And one of your photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. Simeon must have been right. The painting is some kind of map. We should... Hold on. My phone. Hello? Oui? This is Inspector Navet. I am looking for the American, Monsieur Stobart. Are you with him? Yes, he's right here. <gasps> Mon Dieu! Stay calm, madame. Where exactly are you? In my neighbor's apartment. But why do you... Do not worry. I am just moments away. Be very careful. He is armed and highly dangerous. But he seems so charming. Trust me, madame. The leopard never changes his stripes. That was Nave. You're in big trouble. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Well, Nave's on his way, and he'll be here any moment. We have to go, Nico, now! Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. Ah, there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Fleur, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Moo is outside the door. He's talking to someone. Oh, no, it's Adam! 
Who? My neighbor. Ah, the pug lover with the trashed apartment. That's the one. Hey, Fleur. Great to see you again. You were expecting us? Thirty more seconds and you would have been caught. Charged with the murder of a priest. Whoa. How do you know about that? News travels fast through the ether, Georges. Take this. What do I do with a ball of yarn? Bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find the way. Now, excuse me. I think it's time you planned your escape. Oh, hi, Adam. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my apartment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, too. I'm George, by the way. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. I mean, how interesting. Fleur, can I sit here for a while until the police let me back in? By all means. So what now? You take a look around. I'll see if there's a way to get past Moo. Hey there, Adam. Oh, hey, George. What can I do for you? Do you know what's going on with the police? Uh, no, they wouldn't tell me. Good. I, I mean, strange. It's annoying. I'm really tired. It was a long drive. Oh, been anywhere interesting? I've just come back from a coin fair. It was mega. But that's fascinating. What are you listening to? My meditation music. Crashing waves and trickling forest streams. Do you know Nico well? No, not really. Good. I mean, uh, good for you. So, uh, tell me more about this coin fair. It's Europe's biggest. So much to see. I bet. So, what do you think of this coin? Oh my god, so that's a platinum 12 ruble. It is? I, I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's going to be a rough day, Adam. Why don't you keep the coin? Are you serious? I'll get my pal Stefan to value it. His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, Georges. I knew you were coming. You did? Uh, so what else do you know? There's a 36% chance of rain. You've known Nico a while. What flowers does she like? Yellow. No, wait. Yes. Yellow, definitely. Go ahead, George. Take a few. Thanks. I got you some beautiful tulips. That's sweet, George. But I'm not a big fan of yellow flowers. Oh, but Fleur said... Fleur doesn't know everything. Oh, typical. Nico? We're trapped. No way forward, no way back. Luckily, Inspector Nave is no Sherlock Holmes. But Sergeant Mu is a problem. At the gallery, I just plied him with coffee. His bladder problem did the rest. Ah, that reminds me of my late husband. Pipi Pierre, they called him. I don't suppose you have a coffee machine, Fleur? I'm afraid not. I don't even have a kettle. 
Let's keep looking. There's always a way. I stopped the disc. Ocean dreamscapes. Just what I needed with the day I was having. Those might come in handy. Fleur's classics were blaring out into the street. Fleur, do you mind if I change the music? Good idea. The sound of lapping waves was affecting Moo, but I was going to need something more to open the floodgates. There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's foam, flower food, ribbon, pee pee, bouquet labels. Pee pee? My curiosity was aroused. It was a plastic statue. Careful with that. It's just come in. Special order. What is it? A replica mannequin piece. Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Hmm. Very tasteful. I slotted the battery into the mannequin. A jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. I placed the statue in the trolley. Slancha, wee man. Slancha. I gave the trolley a push. Fleur certainly kept her bearings well greased. Okay, that's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Dobbs were having an affair? Yeah, so, she's got some explaining to do. Bijou, I need to talk to you. I don't need to wait. I have such a sore head. No, it really can't. Oh, oh. In the daylight and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. How delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? George and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him, though he is rather a cutie. <clears throat> uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. This is a note from Hobbs that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? Bijou, you gave me the keys. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't do anything else, did we, Georges? 
The note is addressed to you. So Lane was telling the truth. You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? The note from Hobbs makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with me? A gift for you, from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never needed to. I think Henri asked Madovsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. No, Hon. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep me. Truth is, I love them both. Wilf and Henri. And now Henri is dead because of me. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. They were in a band together back then. So you were unfaithful to Henri right from the start. It was never cheating. I loved them both. So you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance? Wilf passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. He never knew it was a fake. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. So what was Madovsky's role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an offer on La Melodixio from someone. So Wilf put Madovsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. Wilf called me yesterday trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me, that he had plans. Does that mean he has the painty? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was here, and we danced together again. Such bliss. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and... <clears throat> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. George, do you have something you need to tell me? No. Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go. Shall we? <laughs>